All right, let's take a look at question number 11. In question 11, we're going to be focusing on how to identify linear versus exponential functions. As you can see, the options are provided to us in word form, so we have to translate the verbal representation into algebraic representation in order to determine if it's a linear function or, a, or an exponential function. Question 11 reads, which situation can be modeled by a linear function? All right, before we get started uh, with the identification of which of these um, represent a linear function, let's uh, do a real quick review on what a linear function is. So what, uh, how would you describe a linear function? Something you want to note is as follows. Um, linear functions, linear functions grow by adding a constant, we can call the constant, let's say m, okay, by adding a constant m repeatedly. So think about linear functions as a growth by repeated addition, okay? If you're adding the same number over and over again, the terms that are generated by that um, process is, uh, is going to be the output values of a linear function, all right? And then the formula for linear functions is basically y equals mx plus b. This is the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, all right? m represents that value you keep adding, and b represents the original amount, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these um, uh, options right here to see which one is um, a linear function. And then just a side point, exponential functions, just to help you see the difference, exponential functions, what do you think happen with exponential functions? They grow by repeated, <clears throat> repeated um, multiplication. Okay, so if you generate terms of um, a function by um, multiplying, then it's going to be an exponential function, repeated multiplication. And then you can think about an exponential function as y equals a times b to the x. Okay, all right, so b in this case represents your growth or decay factor. What do you multiply by over and over again, or what do you divide by over and over again? That's what b is, all right? Okay, so the first one says the population of, a, of bacteria triples every day. So triple represents what kind of operation? To triple means you multiply by three, okay? So how do the terms of this function grow? They grow by multiplying by three every time. So you multiply, multiply by three repeatedly. So if you're multiplying by three repeatedly, what kind of um, function is that going to be? It's clearly exponential. So this is not what we're looking for. We're looking for a function that's um, linear, okay? So an example of uh, option one will be y equals, let's say five, uh, times 3 to the x. So this just rep indicates repeated multiplication by 3 because when you multiply by the same number repeatedly the condensed form is an exponential function. Alrighty? Okay, question 2. The value, option 2, the value of a cell phone depreciates at a rate of 3.5% each year. So rate of, what operation do you associate with of? Of represents multiplication, okay? So is, you, you, the rate is being multiplied by um, a depreciation factor of 3.5% each year, all right? So the rate is uh, decreasing by 3.5% each year. What's going to be happening is we're going to be multiplying by 100% uh, minus 3.5%. That's what we're going to be multiplying by, okay? So um, depreciating by a rate of 3.5% basically means that you multiply multiply by 1 minus 1 represents 100 um 3.5% in decimal form is 0 0.035 okay 
So you multiply by 1 minus 1.035 repeatedly over and over again and that's what will generate the terms of this depreciating function okay so what kind of function is this if you're multiplying by 1 minus 0 0.035 over and over again is that linear or exponential since it's repeated multiplication this is an exponential uh, function so this is not what we're looking for okay all right so let's take a look at an example of option two okay so what kind of function rep could represent option two so let's say your cell phone um, is a hundred dollars no that's kind of cheap let's say it's a thousand dollars okay like the new notes uh, the notes um, cell phones from Samsung let's say it's a hundred dollars and it depreciates by this a thousand dollars and it depreciates by 3.5 percent every year we want to model that um, algebraically is going to look something like y equals 1000 times 1 minus 0 0.035 raised to the x power you can see this representation right here is that of an exponential function okay all right so don't forget if you have rate of a certain percent is basically repeated multiplication depreciation indicate subtraction and if it were appreciation we will add um, this percentage value to one alrighty okay now let's take a look at option three an amusement park allows 50 people to enter every 30 minutes so what do you think is happening here for this particular one 50 people enter the park every 30 minutes so that entry, what operation is it? When people are entering the pack, this operation right here indicates addition, okay? So when you're adding, let's say you're adding $50 to your bank account every 30 minutes. I mean, if $50 is entering into your account every 30 minutes, it means addition, right? Okay, so in this case, what we're looking at is you add 50 repeatedly. All right, add 50 repeatedly, ladies and gentlemen. This is basically what uh, an, a linear function is repeated addition. So, the answer to question number 11 is option three. Okay, so let me show you an example of what that looks like. If you want to uh, add f uh, 50 every single time, an example function is y equals 50x. Okay. So this is a representation of a linear function where 50 is added at every um, input value x. All right, so we know what the answer is, but let's just take a look at option four and see what's going on in that scenario. For option four, it says a baseball tournament eliminates half of the teams after each round. So there goes that off again and half. So half of, what does that tell you? multiplying by one half as we saw in option two so whenever you see that off component and a particular factor um it will tell you that it's a repeated multiplication and this ladies and gentlemen is an exponential function and um that that's not the answer that we desire alrighty so in option four what's happening is that we are going to be multiplying by multiply by one half every single time okay so option one is exponential two is exponential three is linear and four is exponential so let's take a look at an example of what um option four looks like so let's say there were 100 team members to start okay so it's going to be y equals the initial amount 100 times the decay factor which is one half raised to the x power and as you can see this is a representation of a an exponential function that's why it doesn't fit the description all right so the question to um number 11 the answer to number 11 is option number three the time to watch this presentation i really appreciate it let us know what you think if you found the contents of this um tutorial uh, helpful in your preparation for um the upcoming regions exam let us know what you found easy to understand and what was complicated just post your your comments in the comment section below if you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the 
Regents exam do give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us and, and do share with your friends so that they can also uh, benefit from from this review uh, material do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series if you would like to gain access to the transcripts of um, this video uh, do visit our website at matgotserve.com on the New York Regents exam thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye